that phone call. Help me tap the little ball. <laughs> Kiki and Quacky, I'm hosting a super awesome fireworks party tonight. But there are still some preparation work, and I'd like to invite you to help. Fireworks party! Awesome! We're coming! Quacky, let's go now! Go! Magic Cube, go! The world is so interesting! Let's go explore the mystery! Help? I'm currently decorating this place with balloons. How about I leave it to you? Sure thing. I want these balloons to be arranged in an odd even rule. Odd? Even? What's that? I will tell you the answer. Look, there is a hat and gloves. Which one is a pair? Yes, two gloves make a pair, which is what Dr. Monkey called even. Well, there's only one hat, so it's odd. Quack, quack, I've learned it. One balloon in the right hand. That's an odd number. One balloon in the left hand. That's an odd number, too. But when I put them together, two balloons make an even number. Kiki, am I right? Yes, you're really great, Quacky. Place the balloons in the sequence of odd and even numbers. Kids, can you help me with the rest? That's not right. Here, we need to put a single balloon. That's not right. And here, we How need to should put we pairs of balloons. Dr. Monkey, all the balloons are placed. Wow, <laughs> you guys are amazing. There are still many fireworks to arrange, and I can't do it alone. Could you arrange this area for me while I go and arrange somewhere else? Sure thing. Hmm. How should we place them? Look, Dr. Monkey has already written numbers on the ground. Ah, I got it! In numerical order from 1 to 10. Place as many fireworks as the number indicates. Kids, can you help me with these? More and more fireworks placed! Do you know which numbers from 1 to 10 are odd and which are even? Hmm. How did we place the fireworks just now? Place two at a time. Can they all be placed perfectly? No, some are left with one extra. Yes, if we place them two by two and the ones placed perfectly, are of an even number. If there is one left over, the fireworks are of an odd number. So that's it. Let's do a test. Which one is an odd number? Six fireworks or seven fireworks? 
Yes, seven is an odd number. Now pick again. Which one is an even number? Yes, six is an even number. I got it. Arrange in groups of two with one left over. It's an odd number, and when all pairs are made, it becomes even. Now, let's use little flags to decorate this place. Put the red flags in front of the odd-numbered fireworks. Put the blue flags in front of the even-numbered fireworks. Done! Quacky, did you notice any rules? What's the rule? Let me think about it. The red flag represents an odd number and the blue flag represents an even number. The placement rule of the flags is red, blue, red, blue. Let's drag my idea and put them together. It's odd, even, odd, even. Yes. Numbers 1 to 10 are arranged in an alternating odd, even rule. You are so smart. Wow, you've arranged them so neatly. <laughs> Lastly, could you help me label these seats in the audience area? Sure thing. Quacky. There are two rows of seats here. Do you know how to label them? Hmm. Stick odd numbers in one row and even numbers in another row. That's it. Kids, let's stick number tags on the seats together. Fireworks show is about to begin. Let's take our seats quickly. Hooray! Time to watch the fireworks! They're so beautiful! I want to take a photo! Fireworks show is fantastic! You're amazing! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. My fireworks party couldn't go smoothly without you. You're welcome! Kids, do you like insects? Yes! yes. What insects do you know? Who'd like to answer first? I know butterflies. They wear flowery clothes. Who's next? I know dragonflies. They look like airplanes. Zoom! Anyone else? Ladybugs are insects. They have cool red armor on their backs. <laughs> Everyone did a great <laughs> job. Does anyone want to make an insect? Me! 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 I want to make the coolest ladybug! No problem! These are the tools and materials needed to make a ladybug. Let's divide them equally. What does divide equally mean? <laughs> Dividing equally means giving the same amount to each person. Kids, can you distribute these items equally among three kids? the button to confirm. All done! Great job! We can make a ladybug! Yay! Let's start by making the round and chubby body of the ladybug.
Next, let's make the red shells! Cover the round body with the shells. Finally, stick on big eyes and antenna. My ladybug is done! Huh? Quacky, the ladybug you made doesn't have spots and legs. Hmm. We've run out of cardboard and pens! Let's help Quacky find the materials to make spots and legs! Okay. Sure! Where are the materials for the spots and legs? Huh? What's that sound? It's a squirrel! What's wrong with you? Two squirrels took my acorns! Can you help me get them back? Them. Help the squirrel get the acorns back! I see a squirrel! Another squirrel up here! We found all the acorns! Awesome! Let's see where you can run to! We're sorry. We shouldn't have taken your acorns, but we were so hungry. It's okay. Let's eat these acorns together. Really? Great! <laughs> Thank you! But how should we divide the acorns? I know! We can divide them equally! Leave it to me! Kids, divide nine acorns equally among three squirrels. When you're done, tap the check mark to confirm. Yay! Each squirrel got an equal share of three acorns. Acorn cups and small twigs as a gift. Quack! These materials are perfect for making spots and legs on the ladybug. We can go back and continue making the ladybug. Use the acorn cups as spots and distribute them evenly on two shelves. Something is missing. Got it! Let's add a little crown to the ladybug! Ta-da! The ladybug king is born! So cool! I want to make a ladybug king too! Practice 